Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and it looks like I got myself in a dirty situation once again. Welcome back to the game where I clean things, and for whatever reason, you guys really love watching me do it. We are back out in Power Wash Simulator, and obviously a new update has come out. Three new maps have made their way into the game. What's interesting, though, is it's actually in the specials section. If you don't know, there's the career mode and then the specials. We've only seen one map so far in the specials, which was the Mars Rover. Now we have have three new levels to enjoy so finally there's some new ones that you can do if you don't really like going down the career path what's also horrifying about these is it gives you the equipment now i have to use the urban xu2 on this map this is i mean don't get me wrong it's an okay power washer but it's nothing like the pro that we've been using in this game so i kind of like that we have to go back to the uh to the smaller ones and this might not seem like it's the biggest map that we've uh claimed and it's definitely not but uh being that we have the urban power washer i think it's gonna make this job that much more challenging also we're obviously going deeper into the whole gnome thing in this game speaking of that there's a lot of gnomes in the middle but is there the garden gnome around here yes indeed there is i see him up there can we shoot him from oh there's a wall here i can't shoot wait can i go down there hold on oh you i just wanted to shoot him well i guess we're not hitting him this time anyways i guess let's get started this is <laughs> it feels weird to be back to this game man it's been a while since i last played oh also uh biggest thing about this update we have a new aim mode. So no longer am I like a rigid human that can't rotate itself. Now we can actually stand in one place and I guess strafe if we want and do this in a whole new way. And I'm not sure what one I'm going to use more. This feels good because the screen isn't always moving, which does get really annoying definitely a lot more pleasing to do as well the only downside is i have to like go to the edge of my screen to turn my body it's actually not that bad though you kind of just look at a spot and then yeah you know what i think this is way better let's actually turn this back into the stubby this dirt really isn't that bad right now so we don't need the long range extension i'd rather widen out my path here this alone is going to make it so much more enjoyable for me to wash these. And that is one clean gnome. Now, when I'm trying to target a specific area, I still feel like this mode's better. It's just, it comes more natural to me. Maybe it's just because I put, you know, two, three hundred hours into this game using this mode. But if you're just trying to do very easy structures like this... Um, I think this mode might be a little bit better. I don't know. I'd actually like to test it out. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do, um, only using this aim mode and then the old school aiming mode on a smaller map and, like, time it and see which one's faster. Because, honestly, I would be curious about that. Yeah, I think the best thing about this rotation is I can quickly, uh, do, like, double passes on some hard-to-get dirt. Uh, and it just seems much more faster as compared to of having to do something like this. Uh, it's just, it's very easy to quickly just do multiple passes of water over a specific area. I'm definitely, the more I'm using this, the more I like this mode. I'm obviously gonna be talking a lot about this mode today because it kind of changes the game. The weird thing is, um, as you can see, when I start moving the crosshair, I don't know why they would do this, but it fades. I mean, I guess it looks cooler to watch, but the cross, it's very hard to tell kind of where I'm aiming sometimes in this mode. And I really don't like that the crosshair goes away. And the only other thing I wish is uh, it's very annoying to like walk around like this. I wish there was a button I could hold down so I didn't have to go to the edge of the screen to start rotating my body. If I could just hold down like shift or something, for example, shift goes back to the ordinary mode for whatever reason but yeah if there was a button to hold to automatically start rotating your body i feel like it'd be very easy or much easier to maneuver this regardless uh yeah really enjoying this mode i thought this level was going to be one of the easier levels i i i mean i thought a fountain would be you know a basic fountain this thing the closer i get to it this is freaking massive um i'm gonna do all the easy things first Ooh, there's designs down here so I found for floors doing this like horizontal movement, it might actually be faster than the old way, which is I would just look straight down and slowly walk. Wow, did they make the, the walking slower and slowly walk? Did they make the walking slower or did I used to do it this way? 
Um, I usually use a bigger one though. Like, um, wow. This, God, this urban sucks. But yeah, I would do it this way before. And honestly, I mean, you can see the difference in speed. I mean, the only downside of this way is you're kind of prone to missing spots, but that's okay. This is a lot of mouse movement, man. But uh, there we go. The final little bit of at least deep grime. And it is gone. Now we use our little radar. And yeah, you can see it's pretty much everywhere. So I'm just going to try and target any of those locations and get those dings before we move in even more. And there's one. I think we got quite a few of these that we got to do. But as you can see, all of them are rather low. I did pretty badly here. Let's get back to this part. Looks like I left some right on this ledge here. Just get this. And that was it. Oh, okay. We'll get the stairs done. This is where I think I'm going to lose my mind. All these little holes. Uh, I'm going to need... Do I even have a ladder here? I must have a ladder here. I don't know how else I'm going to get up. Ah, uh, yes. I have a ladder and that's it. Bigfoot strikes again. What? All right, we've heard of Bigfoot before in this game. There's so much, like, small lore. Um, I would love to see a Bigfoot in the distance or something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, we'll definitely be using the ladder a lot for this. I'm just gonna do these stairs first, and then we'll get into the main monument. Oh, this is getting bad, too. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like it's harder to remove. Oh, we got spray paint, too. Sweet. Graffiti. Oh, God, I forgot how big this is. I have I've been looking down for so long. Okay, so the base of it is basically done. Uh, God, this looks fantastic. I think I'm going to go for a different strategy now. There's no... I really wish I had scaffolding here. I don't know why there wouldn't be scaffolding here with how big this thing is. But I want to snipe it from a distance because we haven't really done much of the long range yet. I don't know how good this will be. I think going from, like, here should be probably pretty good. And <laughs> that's going to be so fast. I mean, obviously, I'm not getting anywhere near all of it but i'm already at 70 percent. i think i was at 68 um oh my god i don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea because we're gonna have to go over all this again but it's very pleasing to do so i'm gonna do it anyways well it still looks absolutely awful i don't know if that was a good idea or not but at least we can see where the oh my god <laughs> it's i hardly touched it it was fun to do but yeah, this is too much for this little uh, power washer. So let's throw on the soap nozzle and we'll throw in, I guess this would be stone, right? This is, yeah, this is all stone. I mean, there's a little bit of metal in there, but it's mostly stone. So we'll throw on the stone cleaner and, oh, dude, that, <laughs> I don't know why I don't use this more. Let's go to um, short extension just to spread it out a little bit more. And yeah, pretty much anywhere where there's graffiti, I think this soap is worth using because, yeah, look, it, it just it just disintegrates. Okay, so at the top layer, we're going to do the same thing here. Let's put on... We don't need the extra long. Let's just put on the long extension. And yeah, we'll do the same thing where we couldn't see from the ground because we got graffiti all the way up here. We still have to go to the top, too. I can only imagine what's up there. Wait, how the hell do I get to the top? Um... I go from the bot. Wait, what? There's got to be scaffolding. How the hell am I supposed to get to the top? Am I, am I blind? Or do I gotta like parkour up using the freaking gnomes? Do I actually have to do? Am I, is this how you're supposed to do it? There's no way. This is so dangerous. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Um. Okay. I just want to see what was up here. We just have a giant rock. Uh, I don't think there's at least any graffiti. We have one happy gnome though. Okay, yeah, surprisingly, this is all easy dirt. So we'll go back to the soap on the second floor, get rid of this graffiti so we don't have to deal with that. And then we have the long process of getting rid of all this extra dirt that I have left. Well, as you can see, everywhere. Actually, you know why? This would be great for all these freaking gnomes because there's all these little crevices. So I think I'm going to actually use it for that. And well, that's unfortunately it. We got the majority of the gnomes at least mostly clean. But we are officially out of stone cleaner. Now, we did get some metal cleaner as well. We have these um, designs here that I've totally left. It's got vertigris on it. I don't think I've ever seen vertigris in this game. I don't even know what that is. But obviously, it's not coming off with ordinary water. Uh, clearly, the soap works freaking fantastic, though. I'm really glad I saved it for this. There's also a lot of gold up there. So I'm 
don't want to use it all here, but I might need to. There's a lot of designs on this stupid fountain. And there is the final one. That wasn't bad. We didn't even use a liter to get all that gold done. So we'll do the rest later because I don't know what I should hit the most. There's gold actually everywhere, as you can see. So yeah, now I'm going to go back to my favorite nozzle, Mr. Yellow, and just slowly take my time trying to get rid of the majority of this dirt. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the top and work our way down now. Oh my god, this rock has been so annoying. There's so many stupid little cracks. Come on. There's a little bit there, a little bit there. Ah, there it was. Right at the bottom. All right. We have, we have the clean rock. Let's work our way up here. You know, I didn't think about this till now, but why is why why is the fountain not have water? Can can you please start spewing out some water? I hope it does at the end. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be very mad. No, oh, didn't expect to be cleaning this today. This is this is weird. Oh, thank you. Look at how beautiful you are, buddy, and look at how clean it is up here. So just take a double check. Everything is done. We don't ever have to climb up again. I just want to make sure this outer edge is perfect. And we got one more layer to do, I think. Oh, actually, do we have two layers? Oh, god damn it. We have got... Technically, yeah, we have still the bottom, too. Oh, my god. Ah, oh, there it is. The jump shot for the lower basin done. I think, aside from... Well, that's all lower basin, actually. I didn't realize those were actually connected. Uh, I would have been able to do that a lot faster if I knew that because there was a bunch of dirt around that. So we're going to go back to yellow for the mids here because I still haven't even done the ground here. But 97% left with all this dirt around. I think we are nearing the end finally. And we are officially at 99%. Now don't let that deceive you though because generally the last percent is the hardest one to get. So we probably still have like 30 minutes to an hour of work because it's going to be these freaking gnomes. But uh, it's nice to see we are finally nearing the end. Oh, there it is. Man, they didn't give you much room for that bowl. Um, So the bowl's done. Most of the columns are done. Underside is done. This is actually looking pretty good. Some of these upper basin walls are not done, so we just got to find a little bit of dirt for those. Perfect. So yeah, now it's all about seeking out this freaking dirt. I'm still haven't really focused much on the gnomes, but I have got a few of them done. We still got like these walls that I really want to get done. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I think it's time to go to the gnomes and we'll head back and get any sort of panels that we missed. These are not going to be easy, though, because I kind of have to... Uh, risk my life to get them. Actually, I might try and snipe these bottom ones from here, too. Oh, got the one below me. <laughs> oh, I might not have to have to use the ladder at all. I hate ladders in this game, if you can't tell. And there is that gnome done as well. The final two. Look at how good this looks now. Oh, man. All right, lower basin edge. This is technically the lower basin. Um, So it's this. There it is. There, is that it? Damn it. Ah, uh, there's a little bit more there. Perfect! Now, the upper basin decoration. Is that these? No. Um, decoration. Is it these things? So, yeah, it is these. Uh, for whatever reason, as you can see where I'm aiming, it's kind of glitchy right now. Uh, which is making this extra confusing. It's a good thing I know exactly what I'm looking for, though. And is that it? Oh, my God! I didn't even need, uh, the help. We did it! Oh, <sighs> well, that was three hours of fun. <laughs> Let's turn three hours into a few seconds and appreciate this. There, oh, that's pleasing. I like that I started from the outside and worked my way in. Then I went to the top around here and we're all over the place. It may that makes it look so easy. It's so pleasing, but it's so annoying at the same time. All right, guys, and on that, I need a little bit of a break. That was the Gnome Fountain, one of the three new jobs that have come out. We have one that's supposed to be a little harder than this, and then one easier one. So expect a couple more episodes of this in the near future, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.